Here's the deal. You know, when you're on the board of a publicly traded company and they trade the B-class shares of Fox, you have a responsibility. You have a fiduciary duty to the shareholders to make sure that, you know, you're doing things the right way. And so a lot of shareholders now are coming out of the woodworks. This is what happens. And they're suing and they're saying, wait a second. Hey, Paul Ryan. Hey, board of directors. What was going on with your management team that you allowed all this to happen? And you know what? The shareholders actually have a point. What was going on with the management team? Asleep at the switch? Afraid of the talent? Not able to control anything? Hey, look, I like this medium because it's just you and me and I don't have to answer to anyone, right? But when you're over there within an organization, within an institution, you do have to answer to people assuming they know how to manage you. Clearly, they didn't know how to manage. And so what the shareholders will be looking to prove is how people were doing whatever they wanted, maybe thinking one thing and saying another, which is pretty bad, and management allowed it. Why? Oh, for ratings. So that is going to be a problem for Fox as we look at 2023. But you know what? The world is changing. And the truth is, we don't need Fox. We're here. Tucker's out on his own. I'm here. But, you know, you look at all the Dan Bongino, wonderful guy, wonderful, wonderful talent. He used to be on the weekend there. He's doing his thing. You know what? If you want real news, you can find it. You can get it. I mean, you have to dig a little deeper, but there's nothing wrong with that, right? I, I, I look at Charlie Kirk. He used to be on my show quite a bit on Fox, and he runs something called Turning Point USA. And they have a big conference, a few big conferences, but their big, big one, the big shindig is in December, and they just had it. And normally they have a lot of Fox personalities that go out there and do it. And, well, for some reason, Fox did not allow any of those personalities this year. And yet, they did just fine. They had the highest attendance rate ever. And Charlie makes a very, very good point about this. Let's listen to him explain what life is like with no Fox News. Not break some news, but yeah. what's missing? We don't have a single person from Fox here. Yes. Right? And in years past, I gave you the opportunity just now. I was hoping you'd say. Yeah, and I, I'm being nice. I, I love yeah. Fox. They've been very good to me. Sure. I hope we can heal our relationship because for whatever reason, it's gone off the reservation since Tucker's departure. Yeah. I haven't been on. So it's not exactly, you know, yeah. you just look at, right. you just look at Gravia, no Charlie Kirk for nine months, right? Yeah. And so we had to kind of do an event without Fox. Yeah. And that was a great thing, man. Because yeah. sometimes, uh, sometimes desperation is the mother of innovation, right? Yes. So we Isn't that great? Sometimes desperation is exactly what you need. Very, very, very cool. Anyway, Charlie Kirk, he's a good guy, as I said, and uh, he's running a great operation there over at Turning Point USA, where they've just gotten so many young people, young people involved. Really cool to see.